Hello, I'm David and today I'll quickly explain how I made this meteor effect. The first step is to track the camera and to use this to create a basic 3D scene. I downloaded a photo scanned meteor model from Render Crate and animated it to fly into the ground. Usually our destruction simulations use chopped up shapes, but for this I used a granular method. This allows us to simulate millions of particles being hit by the meteor. Having them stick together gives the appearance of gigantic clumps of dirt being blasted into the air. We then assign each of the particles a simple dirt coloured shape to give the particles volume. Dust can then be added by running a simple satisfying smoke simulation. As simulating smoke is pretty slow, I decided to use Embergen for the main simulation. Starting with the default preset, I animated the emitter position and disabled the gravity, so that the smoke behaves the way we need it to. I could then export the data back to my main scene and position it to follow the meteor. After we're happy with the animation, we can finally hit render. In After Effects, layer the rendered animation over the video. I downloaded a bundle of dust effects from Footage Crate and added them to the base of the explosion to help blend everything together. The new airburst effect also helps to add extra power to the explosion. The final sound effects were then put together using some of the content on Sounds Crate. That wraps up this Meteor Effect. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below or message me on Instagram. Thank you for watching.